Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Vancouver in Canada, which I think is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And today I'm going to talk to you about the new View Cube. Now this feature is inside of 2009, but you're going to start to see this feature in all of the Autodesk products. And if you work on more than one Autodesk product, you may sometimes feel like they were designed on co two completely different islands, right? They didn't talk to each other. So one of the things that Autodesk is trying really hard to do is to start to provide some consistency from from product to product. And the View Cube is a great example of this. So ideally, you can walk into any Autodesk product and at least you can do zooming and panning and things like that with some of the new tools, the View Cube being one of them. So the upper right hand corner of the screen, that's the new View Cube. I love it because it's really easy to work with. Notice as I move my cursor around, you'll see that there are a variety of hotspots that that, uh, that darken, making it clear that I can select there. I'm going to go ahead and select a couple of these hotspots, and you'll see that as I do so, that AutoCAD automatically changes the view based on where I select. It makes it really easy for you to get specific views that sometimes are not so easy to get by just modifying the viewpoint. For example, if I want to go to the very back, Sure enough, the view cube makes it really easy for me to do that. You'll also see that there's this little home option in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that option. And when I do so, you'll see that that takes me to a default view that I have previously saved. And you can save your own home view simply by doing a right click at any point in time and selecting set the current view as home. It's really, really just that simple. Also, if I want, I can zoom around on this freeform just by holding the mouse key down and kind of move it around. It works just like the 3D Orbit command. The 3D Orbit command, of course, is still in AutoCAD. This is just another option. And if you want even more control over your view cube, feel free to do a right click, and that will take you to the option of view cube settings. And here you can decide things like, you know, I don't want the view cube in the upper right hand corner, I like it in the top, upper left hand corner. You can control the size of the view cube. You can control the opacity. Maybe you'd like to be a little more transparent so it's not so visual on the screen. Um, you will notice as I zoomed around, as I selected the different hot spots, that it had it, that it zoomed back to the extent of the entire drawing. That may not be something that you want it to do, so you could turn that off here. There's just a variety of great options on here to let you have complete control over the new view cube. So that is my tip for today. I would encourage you to get used to this great new feature, which incidentally you can, um, well, you'll see it automatically shows up if you happen to go to a, the 3D workspace inside of AutoCAD 2009. You can get to it a variety of other ways as well. I, I definitely suggest you get used to using the view cube because that's going to make it easier for you to deal with any of the Autodesk products. So have a great rest of the week and thank you so much for joining me.